Okay guys, I have a letter here from the Ministry of Employment, Ministry of Labor. From the Ministry of Labor and uh, because I don't have a video covering that, so I will just do a video so that I help you read the le this letter because I cannot uh, post it on YouTube without uh, maybe reading it out, okay? Because you cannot see the screenshot, it's very tiny, so I will help you read it. So I'm going to do a video on this letter. First of all, let me confirm the dates so that I can. I will not be sharing something that was written maybe 20 years ago, okay? Uh, this, this letter was signed by Simon Chelugui, Cabinet Secretary for Labor, on September 16th, 2022. I hope you can see that, right? It was signed by Simon Chelugui the cabinet secretary for labor on 16th september 2022 I, I thought it is wise to share this letter because it has very in useful information for someone maybe who is stranded okay and uh, it's it's an answer from the government of kenya to our cries and complaints of the mistreatments uh, happening in the kingdom of saudi arabia so i'll read it out press statement measures put in place to protect migrant workers in the Middle East. Our attention has been drawn to recent reports in the in the media highlighting cases of Kenyans who are in distress or have or, or have died in Saudi Arabia, with some making claims of mistreatment by their employers. The government of Kenya take all reported uh, cases seriously and ensures each case is investigated uh, through the relevant agencies. Paragraph two, unemployment and underemployment remain one of the key challenges facing our country. However, the government of Kenya is committed to ensure that measures are put in place to address these challenges through, through among others, promotion of work, skill development, and sustainable job creation. One of the strategies employed by the government to enhance employment, employment pro promotion is labor migration, born out of realization that labor migration has immense socioeconomic benefit to both the migrant workers and members of, members of their families, countries of origin and destination. The government supports ethical organized and human labor migration because it's not only a source of employment and livelihoods of migrant workers but it also addresses skills gaps in the destination countries and it's a source of much needed uh, remittance to migrants country of origin over the years Kenyans have been moving to many countries in search of employment and are currently found all over in all corners of the world to midwife to midwife migration process the government through the ministry of labor registers private recruitment agencies who are authorized to link kenyans willing to work abroad with potential employers to ensure that any kenyan willing to travel and work abroad are protected the government of Kenya formed a multi-agency committee which is responsible for vetting all of all applicants for registration of recruitment agencies. The agencies are also vetted every year before the renewal of their licenses. Similarly, as part of the agency's undertaking, they are supposed to report on all cases of mistreatment and also repatriate any worker whom they have sent abroad should be should the worker express interest to come back this is why they execute a security bond before they are licensed so that in event they fail to honor to honor that undertaking the ministry can use the security bond to bring back any kenyan in distress as part of government mechanism to ensure protection of all kenyan migrants workers, the government of Kenya has prioritized the signing of bilateral labor agreements with the various destination countries and also introduced mandatory pre-departure training. This bilateral labor agreements defines the roles of the recruitment agencies as well as the terms of engagement 
for our migrant workers. Already, the government has signed bilateral labor agreements with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, State of Qatar, United Arab Emirates, and United Kingdom. Bilateral labor negotiations have also been initiated with key destination countries. In response to allegations of mistreatment of migrant workers, the government of Kenya would like to assure all Kenyans willing to travel to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia that the government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has implemented a number of measures meant to ensure the safety of workers, particularly domestic workers. These measures include introduction of wage protection program, formation of protection and support and support uh, department under and support department under the Ministry of Human Resources and Social Deve Development to handle all complaints from migrant workers, recruitment agencies, and embassies. The government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia also introduces labor reform initiative in 2021. Sorry, the government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia also introduced labor reform initiative in 2021 which now allows employees to change employers. These labor reforms also define exit, return, and final exit procedures. The government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has also activated the alternative dispute resolution mechanism and where not, not applicable have put and where not applicable have put mechanism in place to ensure cases referred to court are resolved within 21 days. Finally, the government of Saudi Arabia has set up a mechanism. Sorry. Finally, the government of Saudi Arabia has set up a complaint and communication channel where any aggrieved migrant worker can send an alert to the security agencies through the ununified un un through unified number that is 19911. 19911. The government has also set up a monitoring digital application. Mam Lal Rasid. Oh my god, I can't read that word. Maybe I'll just uh, zoom it. Ma'an Lal Rasid. I don't know. I, I'll zoom it so that you can read it for yourself. Hope you have been able to see it. All these efforts are meant to safeguard the life of migrant workers in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The government of Kenya is satisfied with the efforts that the government of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has put in place to ensure protection of migrant workers and therefore calls upon all recruitment agencies to acquaint, to, to acquaint all the Kenyan migrant all the Kenyan migrant migrating to Saudi Arabia with various measures put in place before signing a contract. On our part, the government of Kenya has established an oversight and community feedback mechanism to facilitate continuous monitoring of private employment agencies to ensure ethical recruitment. The ministry has also established a distress reporting mechanism through a web portal under Oh my god, I don't know how to read that names i don't know i'll put that website or in the comment section i will just recopy it and put it in the comment section um so that if you are looking for it you can see it there okay and at all free line zero eight zero zero two 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 three so there is a number that you can call if you are in distress maybe or maybe if you need help and it's a toll free number like it's free of charge it doesn't use credit that is zero eight Zero zero two 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 three to report migrant workers distress cases. We urge all Kenyans to make use of this tool to help government better manage to help the government better manage the distress cases. The government of Kenya re retreat that the life of every Kenyan matter, whether working locally or abroad, and will therefore continue to to do everything to ensure that all rights of Kenyan migrant workers are re respected. The government also appeals to all Kenyans wishing to travel to work abroad to only use accredited employment agencies because in the event of an emergency, the government can guarantee 
their safe return. The list of accredited recruitment agencies is available under website www.nea.go.ke. Let me zoom it so that you can see it. You see that one? If you go on Google and search that one, www.nea.go.ke, you will find the list of accredited recruitment agencies. This, uh, this one was signed by Simon Chelugui, Cabinet Secretary for Labor, for Labor on September 16, 2022. So guys, when it's 